particles don't know what they are. Substrates are our valuable chemical, or the chemical that's come about already through a number of reactions, or will be used next in a series of reactions. The chemical doesn't know if it's a substrate or a reagent. So hopefully it won't come as a surprise to learn that enantiomers react at different rates with chiral reagents. Here we have a racemic mixture of enantiomers. So there are equal amounts of each enantiomer. They have a key alkene functional group. The alkene undergoes a hydroboration with a borohydride that is a single enantiomer. The alkyl borane with hydrogen peroxide is converted into an alcohol. But note, this is a primary alcohol. The reaction hasn't created a new stereogenic center. And despite this, there is now an unequal amount of the two enantiomers. The overall product is non-racemic. Not only chiral reagents, but also chiral catalysts react with enantiomers of a substrate at different rates. The most extreme examples of this are often enzymes. They are a single enantiomer. Let's examine enzymatic kinetic resolution. We start with this racemic mixture of a secondary alcohol and we use an enzyme called a lipase to catalyze its esterification. So what's the result? Okay, so no change? Yep. The 50% S enantiomer, 46% is recovered, unreacted. Great, so the reaction didn't work. Hold on. We have it in 94% EE, enantiomeric excess. So what's going on? Well, the R enantiomer has almost completely reacted, and of its 50%, 80% of it, so a total of 40%, has been esterified in greater than 95% enantiomeric excess. The greater than means only one enantiomer was observed but the accuracy of the analysis was only to 95%. So there could be another enantiomer in less than 5%, but we don't know. But maybe equally, there could be 100% of a single enantiomer. Either way, this is very, very high stereoselectivity. We can normally get to enantiopurity with one crystallization from a 90% enantiomeric excess mixture. So this here is an excellent result. One form is an alcohol, and the other an ester. So they can now be easily separated. The disadvantages of enzymatic kinetic resolution are, I'm guessing you want 100% of the desired enantiomer not a maximum of 50%. But there are ways around this. Under dynamic kinetic resolution, the starting enantiomers are being interconverted throughout the reaction, allowing not 50, but 100% of the desired product. The lipase is the natural form. The unnatural enantiomer is unavailable. So if you want to esterify directly the S alcohol, you would either have to go looking for another enzyme or take the S alcohol in the product mixture and do an additional esterification. What enzymes do well, they do very well, but they do tend to have a narrow range of substrates that work. 